Politicking is picking up pace in the frontier state ahead of next year's Assembly and Lok Sabha elections. Former Arunachal Pradesh Chief Minister Gegong Apang has launched a new political party in the frontier state just months ahead of the Assembly as well as Lok Sabha elections. The new party has been named the Arunachal Democratic Party. Briefing media persons at the Arunachal Press Club today, Apang said that the aim of the party is to root out corruption from the state and provide ample employment opportunities to youth who he said have been deprived since the last five years. The ADP will soon start its recruitment drive and is gearing up to contest the ensuing elections. And we have also heard that you're uh, launching a party, a new yeah. party. Yeah. So can you tell us about it in detail? Yeah. In the interest of best interest of people, people of our national yeah. party, particularly you have seen the condition of the youth. Okay. So what is the party name, sir? Party of National Democratic Party. Okay. ADP. So, and what is the reason behind forming this new party ahead of the election, no, upcoming election? No, no. I have, it, it, it had been moved, moved before that. But the election commission uh, took some time to uh, you know, process it. And then after that, they have been given registration. And after that registration, they have approved it. So you were, the for, you were a known former yeah, PM of yeah. our state. So is there any planning that you are, you are, have, you are planning to have a comeback in yeah. the political arena? Seeing the condition, situation, hmm. without me, I think many leaders, senior leaders, they do not come. But I have to talk to them. They are the like-minded team. Like-minded team will be collected, will provide very viable alternative to the government. Okay. Sir, lastly, can you just tell us, like, uh, what are the, I mean, is there any specific plans for the upcoming election from this newly yeah, yeah. launched party, yeah. Natural Democrat? Number one plan is that youth should be, uh, we should give empowerment to youths, that boys and girls. Then we should give empowerment to uh, women, and then we should uh, give emp um, uh, empowerment to farmers also. That way, all their demands and needs will be formulated in our uh, government plan program. Uh, from your uh, from your party, yeah. uh, there are there will be contestants uh, participating in. Yeah, the yeah. Uh, all the 60 seats will contest. Will you contest? Uh, uh, Eastern parliamentary parliamentary seat also, Western parliamentary seat also will contest. Okay, so thank you so much for yeah, thank yeah. you. All right, and to give us more details, I'm being joined now live from Itanagar by my colleague Marina Dai. Marina, the Arunachal politics has just gotten a lot more interesting, isn't it? With a new party being floated by none other than the former chief minister himself, and he is directly targeting the main issue that has been doing the rounds in the frontier state of late, and that is corruption. Besides, also targeting alleged, uh, you know, unemployment in the state. So, as far as the new party is concerned, the Arunachal Democratic Party are these two going to be the main agendas uh, of their campaigning as far as the upcoming elections are concerned, Marina. Rona, you are absolutely right. This is like we, what the political scenario that is taking place here in the state is quite interesting now ahead of the upcoming general election. Well, the the longest uh, chief, former chief minister of our state, that is Gegong Apang, has now formed a new political party, which uh, he has named uh, a natural democratic party. And uh, as you ask, as you ask, uh, what are the main uh, main objective and main uh, uh, main role they are going to play, and they are going to they are going to come coming back in the political party is that. Uh, whatever uh, the statement that we have got uh, from the former uh, Chief Minister Gekong Apak himself is that to focus on corruption and uh, we have seen in the past uh, past uh, days, past months that corruption is taking place from all corners, from all aspects of the department, from, from, all, the, uh, from all the arena we have seen. So taking all this matter on account of all this matter, uh, the former Chief Minister has uh, has today stated that uh, uh, that they are going to focus on the welfare of the state by uh, by removing corruption. That is the statement that came from the former Chief Minister Gagong Apang himself. Back to you, Ronak.
Right. So, Marina, as we have been given to understand, you had a detailed discussion with the former Chief Minister a while back, and he also mentioned about starting the recruitment drive for the new party soon. So, what more can you tell us regarding that, Marina? Okay. Well, first of all, uh, the, the, the party, the, the newly formed party, this, that is a natural democratic uh, party, is uh, approved and registered by the election, election commission of, the, of, uh, of our nation, of, uh, uh, of government of India. So all, all the uh, legal paperwork, all everything has done and they have ample of numbers, uh, competent uh, uh, party uh, participants in their party and uh, what uh, and Apang himself mentioned that they are going to uh, contest in the upcoming general election. Right. Right, Marina Dai, thank you yes. very much thank for you, joining Anna. us. Yes, please go on, Marina, please go on. Well, so I was saying that uh, not only on corruption, uh, uh, Apang, Apang said that they are going to focus on the education sector, on health sector, and they are also going to improve the employment uh, that we have seen in our state currently that is, it is depriving our uh, youths, our uh, are depriving of employment so he's also going to, uh, his party is also going to give focus on uh, this particular uh, an important uh, matter that is um, unemployment absolutely so a new political yes, party being floated in the in the in the frontier state marina dai our correspondent from itanaga thank you very much for joining us this evening and bring us all of those latest details